Alan Wake 2 has been confirmed as a third-person title, Halo Infinite speedrunners are already breaking the game, and more. Alan Wake 2 was announced at the Game Awards, and while it might be making a change to its genre, it won't be straying from some of the core gameplay fundamentals of the original. Remedy boss Sam Lake confirmed on Twitter that the sequel will still be a third-person game, amid questions about whether the sequel might make a change akin to Resident Evil 7 and Village in their first-person perspective. Alan Wake 2 will, however, skew more towards traditional survival horror, a twist on the original's more psychological horror focus. Additionally, the sequel will see the return of the two people who brought the character of Alan Wake to life. Matthew Pareto will return as the voice of the author protagonist, who you might recognize as Dr. Casper Darling in Remedy's most recent game, Control. Ika Vili will return as the live-action actor and model for Alan Wake, already having appeared in the game's first trailer. Alan Wake 2 is set to launch in 2023 on Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC, with Epic Games helping fund the development. The Halo community is having a field day with the freedom Halo Infinite's open world campaign provides, and it didn't take players long to figure out how to skip many of the game's story missions entirely. Halo content creator Mint Blitz shows how one such trick is done in a new video, in which he credits the discovery of the skip to members of the Halo Run's speedrunning community. What's notable about the skip is that it doesn't seem all that difficult to accomplish. As long as you know how, just about anyone can probably pull this off. The skip involves upgrading the grapple shot to the fourth level to acquire the first strike ability, which allows players to perform a powerful melee in conjunction with grappling. Once players reach the excavation site mission, players should end the game and reload, ensuring a new checkpoint in case the glitch doesn't go as planned. From there, players need to perform a grapple melee in a very specific location near the banished mining laser before immediately bringing up the game's map and fast traveling to any location. This apparently makes the players invincible, with the game believing the players to actually already be dead. In this state, timed death barriers are disabled, allowing players to go from one gap using the grapple shot melee before immediately grappling again to fling themselves onto the island proper. From there, it's just a matter of acquiring a banshee and flying to the game's second to last mission. Loading the mission will remove the invulnerability glitch and allow players to play the game normally. Mint Blitz doesn't think this glitch will be patched, as Halo campaigns have a long history of game-breaking glitches that developers have left untouched, hence why he felt comfortable sharing the skip. There's a link to Mint Blitz's full video in the description below. As we close out the year, Game Pass has announced the new December lineup of games that are heading to the platform. On cloud console and PC, Game Pass members will be able to play Mortal Kombat 11, The Gunk, Broken Age, and more starting December 16th. Already out this month is Serious Sam 4 and one of my personal favorites to relax to, Townscaper. There are also some DLC and game updates from Ark Survival Evolved, Minecraft Dungeons, and The Elder Scrolls Online available now too. But of course, when we get new games on Game Pass, that means we have to say goodbye to a few others. You'll have until December 31st to play Pro Evolution Soccer 2021, The Little Acre, Yakuza 0, Yakuza Kiwami 1, and 2. For the full list of games, be sure to check out GameSpot.com. There's definitely no shortage of games to check out during the holidays, so which ones are you looking to try for the first time? Let me know in the comments and be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss your next GameSpot news update.